I've met a lot of gurus in the last four years making the nature of existence. And here's one of the really interesting ones. His name is Satyan Raja. He holds seminars where people sit and stare at each other all weekend trying to find the truth. I run a company called Warrior Sage Trainings. Basically, we teach people how to awaken from the slumber of their mediocrity, learn that they're a gift to the world, and how to offer that gift to all beings. And the process is this. We give them the universal question that we all have to ask sooner or later, and that's, who am I? We keep you facing the truth by putting you in front of someone. Do you really want to know what you actually believe in? I can tell in a moment. Some say, well, I'm a Buddhist. Some say I'm a Hindu. Some say I'm a spiritual being. Some say I'm this. You want to know what you believe in? Let me spend a day in your life and I'll tell you what you believe in because the way you live your life is what you believe in. I don't know if I'm doing it right. And then it's almost like, well, who is this? It's me. Who else is there to sit here and ask this stupid fucking question <laughs> 75 times? There's only one level of who am I. There's only one. It's primordial. It's essential. But then there's different levels of what am I? I almost feel like I'm just, I'm not me. I'm just, I'm like wings. I'm light. And that scares me. Truth. If you're not willing to laugh at it, joke at it, and poke every hole in everything you do yourself, then you're too fucking serious. <laughs> Everyone say, tell us who you are. Go ahead. Tell us who you are. I am you. Stand up and present who you are. When I look at you, I feel so, so much love. It's so beautiful. Is there a beginning to who you are? No. Is there an end? No. So you've discovered who you are. Your practice now is to offer the truth in every dyad and to express it fully. It's living this reality and experiencing where are you not aligned to you being everything and everyone. True spiritual practice is you finding out those answers from your own realization, your own blooming, your own awakening. The practice will take you to the precipice. No spiritual teaching, tradition, master, or practice can ever awaken you. All they can do is bring you to the edge of the cliff. The way to go deeper is to go into the now. There is no deeper, do you get it? It's as it is, how? Now. Right this moment, when you wake up, then you'll go, that's my truth, that's the way I need to live, and that's the ultimate form of satisfaction. And when you do that, other people will feel that life force. They'll be inspired to live that ultimately.